Hi, my name is Stephen Strauss-Walsh. Uh, I'm a researcher from the UL School of Law. So I just wanted to give you a kind of flavour of the sort of research that we do here at UL. Basically, my uh, thesis revolves around uh, victims, uh, and it's basically charting the uh, re-establishment and re-emergence of the Irish victim. For the re-emergence, uh, you really need to look at history, and basically we start in the 18th century. The victim was really central uh, in that period. They ran the whole show, they pulled the strings, and they initiated the prosecution. Then, if you fast forward to the 19th century, they were sort of sidelined and became basically just a, a simple uh, witness. Moving forward then into the 20th, 21st centuries, it was a lot more inclusive and slowly the victim sort of became more central to the whole process. And there you can see the kind of shifting power dynamics and this is a, this is a key example of what um, Michel Foucault would call the axis of individualization. This idea that power dynamics shift through time. Really, you're looking at how the law has been used to reintegrate victims. So again, if you look at it historically, in the 18th century, they had the right to private prosecution, they ran the show, and into the uh, 19th, those rights kind of fell out of favour, weren't exercised as much. In the 20th and 21st century, the, the victim's rights made it such that the victim gained a lot more participation rights, victim impact statements and these kind of things, and so they slowly kind of re-established themselves and, and recaptured that kind of centrality that, they, that they'd had previously. And so this is a key example of what uh, Jürgen Habermas would call the juridification of inclusion. It's this idea that you can use uh, the law to reintegrate uh, marginalised groups and help them uh, become more uh, central and more inclusive within uh, society. So uh, if you're interested in how power dynamics change through time or how uh, the law can be used as driver change to re-include marginalised communities, then I'd recommend that you come and uh, learn about all this and more at UL.